works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump.
use my weight to make it drop? No! That was our only way out! Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? There are more who made it. They're safe now. <laughs> Thank the Ten. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight for now. Caster won't work on that. I need to back up. Try again. How'd you do it? Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. I'm gonna see Ken talk in a moment. I should head back to Matika. Good enough. now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakht are stubborn fighters, but Kentok? is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. <laughs> He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the chief's guard. Is that what the marshals are? No. The marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The guard remains at the grove to defend it and the chief. But like the marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? 
Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in a sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert. Where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital, we collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers here to the lookout. Understood. Let's get back It must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Oh, can't talk God's I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back. Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge a soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe looking back now she was right i didn't want to let her go the chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier at least after all this i won't be in the way anymore i can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one my service to my clan is done. So... 
leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? But not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Water's coming from that vent. be another source. There's some metal in that wall across the way. Might be able to pull some of it out.
Okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this place should flood. The raft can't talk on should float right up to the top. A way out. Almost there. Hey, stay with me. Tell me, Tika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. For the full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Take off this wet, 